Earlier this year, soybeans were planted in this field as part of a study examining how manganese and the herbicide glyphosate interact in soybean production. For several years, soybeans have shown stunning and discoloration, which are made worse when glyphosate is sprayed. We tend to believe that manganese deficiency is a big issue there because we know that when we see these manganese deficiency symptoms and then spray glyphosate, the, the thing gets worse. The interaction between manganese and the herbicide is not fully understood, and the research being conducted on the Louisiana Delta Farm will hopefully provide some insight. Glyphosate can tie up the manganese, and it can actually cause the manganese deficiency. So we'll be able to see the same treatments with and without glyphosate to see if that is actually causing a problem here. Weed pressure on the farm is very high, so using a herbicide-tolerant soybean system is a necessity. We really need to be able to utilize glyphosate technology if we can because it's so cost-effective and, and broad spectrum. The study can provide some useful information for farmers in Louisiana that grow soybeans, which is Louisiana's largest crop at just under 1.2 million acres. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.